Hey YouTube, this is KP with KP Details. We went and got ourselves a bean stock. If you're not familiar with Bean, Bean is a company in Salt Lake City, Utah that makes teardrop trailers. So this one right here, the, the model of it is the stock. So we went and picked this up in April and it's been in our driveway pretty much ever since. Um, you can see it has 15 inch tires. Um, it's very light, only 1600, 1650 uh, dry weight. The inside, very roomy. It's a queen size bed. It's seven foot four inches wide and 14 feet and a quarter inches long. It does have a, a kitchen in the back. So because of all the places we visit and you're about to see a picture of the first stop where we took it, which was Hesperus, Colorado. Sorry if I'm pronouncing that incorrectly. We were on someone's property that they allow campers to come out on and uh, that's where we parked for the night. So you can see that we were on dirt roads. I uh, can't even call it gravel roads. It was honestly just dirt roads. And we picked up a lot of dirt and a lot of dust in and out of the camper. These tires and wheels have been done before. I didn't do the fender and under the fender prior to this. So that's my first time there. And you can see that the tires are looking pretty black and that's because I have used CarPro Pearl on them. You can see how <laughs> the CarPro Pearl really doesn't, um, it, it really doesn't like being washed off. It is a, it's a very good tire dressing. Uh, so because of, there's a textured finish on the fender itself, I decided to use the wheel brushes and the wheel tools that I was using in order to get those clean because it really helped to get into all of the little grooves and whatnot that we had on these uh, textured areas. So uh, because of all the dust and it, it went up uh, to I think like the Jupiter area we took it a couple of weeks ago. So. It's got a little Florida dust on it, but uh, like I said, we started in Utah, where it came from. Then we went to Colorado. So there is a life leaf solar panel on the front. That's 140 watts. And then we also have a battery. Uh, here's the life leaf. Uh, we're in New Mexico at this part point at the Thunderball site at the Scaramanga Ranch great place to camp look it up uh, if you ever want to go there so we you saw how dusty it was there too so at that point I'd actually asked Lifeleaf how to take care of the solar panel and they said any regular car wash soap that we're using on the vehicle itself can be used and it's actually uh, they use it as a structural piece so it 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 can take the impact from just about anything so I wasn't too concerned about putting the pressure washer on it because if it's if it's a structural piece of the unit then of course we know it can stand up to quite a few things this is the top of the stock the beam as we call it actually and we do have the max air fan on top uh, if you've ever looked into those things they're they're pretty they're pretty great you can either exhaust air out or bring air in with the fan but it did get a lot of bugs on it. So I used a uh, car pro bug out. Didn't quite get all my bugs off. So I know I'm definitely going to have to do a little rewash on this. And because it was seven and a quarter inches wide, I'll have to um, get, use an A-frame ladder the next time that I do this. Here's, I'm taking off the wheel, the spare wheel. Very easy to come off definitely need two people to put it back on. So if you have one of these units, you might as well just put that spare in the back of the car while you're going down the road because if you're alone, to put it back on is gonna be a beast. So I'm currently all out of car for reset and I wanted to try a new soap, so I'm trying out Gion Bathe. I threw a little bit of CarPro Multi X in there because as you can see from our third site, which is on the screen now, we were at Caprock Cap Canyons in Texas. Gorgeous, gorgeous state park. 
If you haven't been there and you're in the area, definitely a place to check out. Or if you're traveling through northern Texas, it's a great place to be. So we are foaming, trying to get all of that dirt that we had red dirt on it. We had um, dirt from where we were in New Mexico, Colorado. Uh, where else did we stop? Um, the western part of Florida, Oklahoma. Uh, it, it this thing went everywhere anyway so here I am just trying to get all of this dirt off of it because it's uh, it does sit under our carport for thankfully so it hasn't really been baking since it got back but it, it's and it's a gel coat versus a clear coat like a car so it's definitely a hardier finish to it uh, I did use everything that was in my foam cannon for this because I just kept rewetting it because I uh, this is a big beast. It's definitely bigger than the standard SUVs, even the F-350 that I washed. This, it's a sizable thing in comparison. So uh, the Life Leaf, I believe it's called. Yeah, Light Leaf, I'm sorry, solar panel. Using uh, just a regular wash mitt on it. Using the Gion Bathe with a little APC inside of it. Taking that off. Uh, and it's you can actually separate it to so if you're at a site where you're not facing east or whatever you can actually take that off and still be able to uh, charge your batteries so uh, there are some bugs and whatnot that were in this area that I was making sure to get off because the front of the trailer of course got most of the bugs and everything as, as we were driving I did keep my distance a little bit with the pressure washer but from what I understand the light leaf solar panel is actually it's a Canadian company it's actually a structural piece uh, on some of the trailers and it's meant to take an impact because it is right there at the front it's meant to take an impact so it's not definitely not something that you have to baby by any means which is a really good thing so decided to take it off to wash it because also gonna have to had to wash the bean at the back side of it uh, we are planning or I am planning at some point to get a ceramic coat on it our camping season is over here in South Florida so really for us I'm not we're not gonna probably camp again until maybe October or November whenever it is that we actually hit our cold front um, if you know anything about here it's already humid and we are now in May it's, we're actually at the end of May tomorrow or two days from now we actually start hurricane season so completely different change for us and we are all done cleaning up the bean you can see how beautiful the textured black box has become I didn't actually use anything on it so far but it will be ceramic coated in the near future tires carpro pro my go-to and on the gel coat I use sonex brilliant shine detailer not a detailer or a spray that I use often, but I wanted something quick to get uh, some UV protection, and this is what it came out as. And you can see what the before looked like there. Ugh. So, thank you for joining me. Uh, thank you for watching. Please remember to subscribe, like, comment, and share. You can reach me at info at kpdetails.com.